So let's look, let's look then at um, why somebody would move from this product, a N95 disposable respirator, to a Clean Space 2. Okay, we've, we've spoken a little bit about the benefits of Clean Space 2. This is a, in terms of protection, etc. This is a powered respirator. It's a positive pressure product. We've got an assigned protection factor of 50 as opposed to an assigned protection factor of 10. We have fresh air coming past the breathing zone as opposed to rebreathing hot, moist air. We have, um, that alone is a, a significant factor in terms of comfort when you're wearing it. On the one hand, we have a product that uh, will block up because it's doing its job, okay? And that's what, that's what filters do. They collect particles and they gradually block up. The downside of that for the wearer of a negative pressure product is it gets harder to pull air through. Okay? You've got to work harder in any negative pressure product to get the air through the filter media. A product like Clean Space 2, the motor does that work for you. So when this uh, product has the filter alarm go off to tell you that you need to change it, you're breathing as easily as when you put it on, which is breathing as easily as before you put the unit on your face. Okay? So, we have a product that has benefits for the, for the wearer in terms of their protection, their comfort, their effectiveness in doing their job. So let's look at the, let's look at the cost of buying a Clean Space 2 as opposed to buying an N95 disposable respirator. And certainly on the face of it, it's cheaper to go and buy a box of N95 respirators than it is to go and buy a Clean Space 2. However, let's look at that in a little bit more detail and perhaps a little more longer term maybe a cost of ownership type scenario. So if we take the average user of an N95 product, if they're working an eight hour day or a 12 hour day, we would suggest that they're going, through, going to go through a minimum of two of these products in that day. Let's say that uh, an average price for an N95 is going to be around $2. So if you have a workforce of uh, you know, 50 people, that's $4 a day minimum over the course of 12 months. And if we, if we compare that cost, rather than the initial cost of purchase, to the cost of running a clean space too over that 12 month period, we will consistently save a considerable amount of money. So what we offer is a product that uh, protects you better, more comfortable to wear, and is also in the long run a cheaper product to own. An aspect of respiratory products, and actually all safety products if we look at them, um, is the environmental impact of disposing of those products. Okay, like everything we use in life, um, it has a use-by use date, and we need to give some consideration to the impact that we have on the environment. I guess if we look at, um, and we've been discussing negative pressure products versus the clean space product, uh, there is a much lower environmental impact in terms of disposable uh, products and the, the waste element of disposing of products that we use on site. Um, we've had uh, positive feedback from a number of corporate users around the world who initially purchased clean space for the benefits, the respiratory, the comfort uh, protection benefits that clean space offers. But what they have found is that that's re it has significantly reduced the uh, environmental burden going off their sites. Uh, a clean space filter will last considerably longer than a box of P2 respirators in, in the same environment. And so we have a much smaller and much more environmentally uh, friendly load going off the site. 